This is how to get all the final weapons in Sea of Stars. Starting off with Zale and Valerie, you will need to have the ability to fly to complete this. There are five solstice shrines across the world. The first is in Nevermist Island. The second is on Wraith Island. The third is in the west. The fourth is in the east. And the final one is in Sarai's world. After you complete all five puzzles, travel back to the mountain trail on Evermist Island to fight the Elder Mist. After defeating him, he'll reward you with Zale and Valerie's final weapons, Sunblade and Moonbow. This is how to get Sarai's final weapon in Sea of Stars. When you're at the rest camp and talk to Sarai, she will mention the queen that was. She will give you an artifact that you can bring to Teeks, who will tell you a story about a group of adventurers who attempted to navigate through the Cerulean Expanse to find said queen. From Teeks' story, we can extrapolate which directions we need to go, so head over to the Cerulean Expanse. Once there, you will want to head northeast, southeast, northeast, east, which will lead you to a speedball which will take you to the fight with the queen that was. Once you defeat her, you will receive Sarai's final weapons, Star Shards. Lastly, to get Rashan's final weapon, head northwest to a small island with a button on it. Once you activate it, four solstice mechanisms will appear. Use your solstice powers to activate water spirals that will lead you to several ruins. The northwest, southwest, and southeast spirals will contain dungeons that will give you fragments used to unlock the sealed Dakari ruins in the northeast. After fighting the sea slug that appears, Rashan will obtain his final weapon, the Aetherwood Cork. And that is how to obtain all of the final weapons in Sea of Stars. Thanks for watching.